It's time to hang out again. It's time to hang out again. Coming to you with another video. Hey, coming to you with another video. Ricky, Ricky, hey. What's up, good people, AKA winners. That's what we do, hey. That's all we do, hey, hey. See how that flowed? I like that better. We're gonna do that. Make sure you subscribe so that every time I invite you over to my house, that uh, you catch the invite girl, okay? Via YouTube, okay? Cause you, you have my house right now. So we got to kick it, we got to hang out, all right? So this video is, um, it's about a foundation. And I was like, I actually, I know somebody that actually works at the drugstore, right? And they were like, girl, did you try that L'Oreal Fresh Foundation? Fresh something, girl. Let's 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 talk about that right now. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Up to 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. Now here they go. And here they go. Hey, hey. So anyway, girlfriend, this is 525 and this is 510. I totally knew that 510 is way, way too light, but I was a little nervous about 525 because it has a lot of like red and orange in it. And because um I was not prepared. I'm gonna go to Ulta right now and I'm going to look it up. Like there's approximately 30 shades, but you know, it can always be more. But it says, um, be unstoppable. Introducing L'Oreal's breakthrough long wear foundation with breathable skin technology. Infallible fresh wear. Hold on, let's just get our Vanna White on. 24 hour foundation provides medium to full buildable coverage that lasts all day and allows the skin to breathe. The formula's three oil absorbers resist sweat, water, and transfer. Y'all know how I feel about the whole transfer situation. You already know. Once you put your powder on and everything like that, like, I don't think any foundation is transfer proof, but I digress. I mean, if they say it's transfer proof, we shall see. I, well, yeah, I doubt it, but okay. The ultra thin liquid goes on smoothly to give a fresh, healthy looking complexion that lasts. And um, color stays true and blends in evenly. So your makeup looks fresh all day. Non-comedogenic and formulated with SPF. It has SPF, so maybe it has flashback. I don't know. I would try to remember to do that. I'm actually pressed for time. We're filming lip swatches today. So stay tuned, y'all. And it says, uh, this foundation is suitable for all skin types. In 30 shades, I was right, for every skin tone. As we're priming, I'm gonna tell you right now, um, yeah, no, it was really hard finding my shade because there were quite a few that were similar. As a matter of fact, there was another one. I can't remember the name of it. Let's push it back, girl. It had another shade in 520 and it really looked similar to 525. It was a different name. I don't even remember the names of them, y'all forgive me. I did not take notes. I really got excited when I saw it. Um, I got it from Walgreens. You can purchase it from Ulta. It probably is at CBS. It's probably at Target, because Target always has L'Oreal. But call your local drugstore before you run out and get it, because a lot of times when you get there at like Walgreens and, and um, CVS and all those places, Rite Aid, they like show up at select drugstores. So you don't want to waste a trip. I am going to mix the two. I paid $14.99, but then it was like buy one, get one half off. So I got the other one for $7, but then I had Walgreens rewards, girl. So I saved $5. So I literally paid $14.99 for one and $2 for the other. Hmm winning. Now, this video is totally going to be a first impression. Y'all know I do first impressions when I get makeup because I want y'all to see the real deal. I want to give you guys my thoughts. And then if anything changes as you follow me on social media or I will come back because if it's really a love thing, you're going to see it more on my channel, right? Because you know how we roll. So um, first things first, we ain't got a lot of kick it, okay? I put on corrector when I try any foundation because I don't wear foundation without a primer and I don't wear foundation without a corrector. Cause my motto is if I'm gonna go in or if I'm gonna rock it, I'm gonna go hard. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna go all the way. Like we're not half stepping. Ain't no half stepping. A. Hey. Put that in the comment section if you know what song that is. Okay. Now back to what I was saying, the foundation shades, how they say it's a shade for everyone. Cause they have 30 shades. Mm -mm, no, no, not unless um, Walgreens didn't have them all. But at what I was looking at, I was like, that ain't it. Like I had a, I had a minute and I was like, dang, I think I'm going to have to mix like straight off the jump, like out the gate. I think I'm going to have to mix. But the pump, check out the pump. It is square. 
And it has a little dip, baby, dip right here, actually. I don't know if y'all could see that. Back to the old YouTube days. And then it has, no, I'm just kidding. So, oh, it's very controlled. And it is, wow, it is very fluid, very fluid. But that is um, five, you see, that's 525 because the number got ripped off a little bit. And this is going to be 510. <gasps> Girl, did y'all see what I just did? I was wondering why it wasn't coming out. Hashtag fail on that one. But that is 525 and that is totally 510. And I just can't believe that's, yeah. That is 510. Definitely not. And that is 525. I told you guys I'm gonna have to mix. I already knew that. I could tell just looking. I've been in this thing a long time and I pretty much know. Now, I don't know how I did with mixing. I may need to do a little bit more, but we'll blend it out, right? And then on the second coat, because you know there's gonna be a second coat, okay? Those that don't know me, I'm generous with foundation. I don't play with it. Oh my gosh, this smells like perfume. Mmm. I always, it just, it's weird when a foundation smells like perfume to me. That's all the way orange. Okay, we're definitely going lighter. So I can tell you right now, it probably won't be a foundation that I run to. Like, who can I run to? I probably won't run to this because, um, first of all, I have to mix. And I just, I don't, like, I like MAC too, but I don't like the fact that I got to mix with MAC all the time. So what I'm going to do, I just put two more. Because I'm actually thinking, it does have a little olive in it though, that 510. But I'm actually thinking that it's more of a 3 and 3 ratio, to be honest. Now that I'm mixing everything all out. Okay, so now I'm 3 and 3 will probably not be it. Because I put a lot just now. But I'm thinking that this will balance it out. So let's see. But the coverage is looking really good. Do you guys see like how kind of flawless the coverage is? And it gives you like a little bit of a glow. Wow, almost like their L'Oreal Pro Glow, but not like with the oily look, if that makes sense. Have you guys tried the Pro Glow? If you have tried the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, then please comment in the comment section and let me know. I did a review on that video too, and I will link it in this one. Now we cooking with gas. It is very lightweight. And I, I'm not really into lightweight foundations, but it is. So, it really doesn't feel like you have much on, but... That scent, you guys, if you are sensitive to scents, that's not going to be your zhuzh. Pores is looking all right. That looks great. But you see, it's not a perfect, perfect match because you guys can see how it's kind of orangish, right? Now, if I put the other color down here a little bit, that would probably help out. But all I'm going to do is blend it out and kind of like wipe it off a little bit just to, because I ain't got time to do all that. I'm going to use a new concealer. And this is a concealer that I just did a video on. This is on the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. I just did a video on it, still using it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just gonna blend this concealer in with this new Sonia Kashuk sponge that, um, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. So what I'm gonna use is this Black Radiance Powder right here. Y'all, I told you it is very, very dusty. And then I'm just going to pack that right here. And I think I feel like baking tonight. But my way, which I have a video on, okay? Now I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics powder in 240 per the huge, usual, okay? And I am going to just pack that on like I usually do. This brush is a Morphe brush. It is their E1, I think it is. Yeah, I have like 50 of them. Not 50, but I, I, I could use, I wouldn't turn it down. Almost looks like my skin is airbrushed to perfection, might I add. It's looking real good. But see, L'Oreal and Maybelline, they know how to do the doggone thing. Bars. This is what we have. And I am going to contour and do my blush and get my life all together up and through there. And I'm going to come back, show you the final look. But I'm not going to give you an update till like midnight or so. Matter of fact, let me <laughs> wipe off my phone and show you. Um, it is 1.53 and 1.53 p.m., might I add. I do want to tell you that um, the color, I don't like that I have to mix the two. I'm not really a fan of the consistency, but I am not knocking like liquid or um, like drip drop <laughs> foundations, okay? Because if that's what floats your boats, that's fine. And that's not like a, um, it's not a deal breaker for me, 
but I do like thicker foundations, but I do like the fact that this is lightweight and I do like the fact that um, it really can be built up. I'm seeing it right now. Like I put on two coats. I feel like after you let it dry, you can put another one on and it gives you this flawless foundation or flawless look and it does not look like drugstore. So here is the final look, you guys. I, listen, I can't let go of the red right now. I'm all the way feeling it. And matter of fact, I've been switching hair like underwear. Hey, <laughs> no, but seriously, this is switch. And I already have a video on this hair. I will be back to show you where it's at. Hey, everybody. Actually, it's very, very late. And But I told you I was gonna come back. I kinda forgot. Like, I think I was done like an hour ago. And then I was just kinda like, winding down from you know my party and stuff like that and um I was like OMG I told them I was going to give them a video and if I do not close this video out then this would totally be in vain right right so let me show you the time I think I put the foundation on was it two o'clock three o'clock something like that it is now 109 in the a.m. I told y'all that definitely says it is now Saturday y'all see that that was Friday it is, it is now Saturday down there right there we did lip swatches on the new wet and wild stuff so that's what that is but look at this i only blot it one time and first of all let me get up close and personal look i'm pretty excited look at this yeah the pores are starting to come through now lipstick borderline gone look at right there getting a little oily but let's blot y'all i'm gonna i'm gonna close out the video like right up and through here from this angle but <laughs> listen Linda I'm all the way excited this is let me move this hair back y'all look at this this foundation looks so good still I basically blotted y'all cannot tell me that this does not look good this right here this foundation is a winner winner chicken dinner <laughs> no but hashtag winning hashtag score this is definitely a good foundation and only thing about it though y'all is i don't want to keep having a mix though but it's so dag on flawless and it looks really good i'm not gonna say this is my last time using it but i will say that it's not something that i will reach for all the time due to the mixing but I'm I'm definitely not getting rid of it. I'm definitely not taking it back. I'm definitely not giving it away. It looks phenomenal. So that is it, you guys. Don't forget to join the fam bam, okay? And don't forget to put the notifications on so you can get invited to my house every time I invite you. Don't forget to accept the invite every time I invite you. So that means you have to turn the bell on, okay? But you guys, oh, and don't forget to thumbs up. I'm gonna start saying that again. But you guys have an awesome, blessed day or in my case, morning, and I will see you sooner than you think. Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover.